start menu on HoloLens looks quite familiar. It has live tiles, it has all apps, but obviously it's floating in 3D space and so it follows me wherever I go. The HoloLens runs Windows 10 and that means it can run Windows 10 applications. So here, for example, is Edge, I think, and it's a browser. So this is, I think, a little bit janky. Oops. But here we have the browser and there is a web page and I can scroll. I do a pinch and I get a kind of virtual scroll reel so I can move around the web page. I can pick them up, move them around the room. stuck there and it's now fixed in position it doesn't it doesn't track my gaze but I think I can make it track my gaze as well it looks like th this is how regular 2d apps tend to work they they sit in the 3d space where you can have all your other holograms laid out so now I have this little astronaut standing in front of my browser so one of, one of the things that HoloLens will almost surely be used for is gaming. So, so this game needs to know the shape of the room and where I am. Okay. And now when I start... Oh, okay, here we go. So the little bugs come out and I... I zap them. Ow! Ow. I just got punched in the face by an alien. I like putting these holes in the wall, that's pretty cool. One of the things you appear to be able to do is just scatter little holograms all over the place. So over here on this chair we have a little puppy and a little kitten. Now, I'm not such a fan of dogs, but I do like cats. So let's demonstrate the superiority of cats. Let's move the kitten onto the floor. And let's make him a big old cat. Ooh yeah, hey kitten. Look at that. Now that is a cat that could beat up any dog. Yeah, in a lot of places, uh, especially on PC uh, experiences, you might be able to go uh, change your frame rate mm -hmm. a little bit, yeah. high or low. We want you to hit 60, yeah. and then the device actually has, um, you know, customized hardware mm -hmm. to take advantage of that. And we take that 60 frames per second and upscale it to 240 frames per second. And that helps us keep the, the latency, or better yet, the, the precision of keeping a hologram locked in the world um, really small. And that's uh, what lets you move around and it stays exactly where. Again, so this video on the wall, I can just about see the whole video. And probably I can play it. Whoa, okay. But if I get any closer, I start losing the edges. So that's probably the biggest single limitation of the of the technology as it is right now. So I've been using the Microsoft HoloLens Developer Edition, which is Microsoft's 3D mixed reality headset, and I've been impressed since the first time I used it. I used it, and I've been more impressed the more I've used it. The holograms are actually kind of beautiful. They they they, they look good. The, the way they sit in the room and, and stick to where they're meant to stick, and um, I uh, they they feel like they're really in 3D space, and I can I can move around and I can look around them, but I'm not cut off from the world around me. There are so many ways in which I wish the system was better, but that's it. it it's it's opening my eyes to 
exciting new possibilities. That's why I wanted to be better. It's it's already amazing at what it does, and it's just like the the future is phenomenally exciting.